Finally, my brethren, Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God. That he may stand, be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle. We wrestle. Not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. Subject this morning is, there is war. There is an ongoing war in the land. It was God's servant, Bishop Uyedeko, that said, life is a battlefield, not a playground. We are involved in warfare, not form fair. There is an ongoing war. It is a war of attrition. What is a, what is a war of attrition? It's when there is prolonged conflict that has the aim of gradually reducing the strength of the one you are fighting. Just sustain the fight. To reduce strength, reduce effectiveness and weary them into submission. There is war in our nation. Whether anybody will agree or not, it's a matter of either deception or wickedness. But there is war. It's a war between good and evil. The war between light and darkness. The war between those who love life and those who love death. Between life and death. The war between truth and lie. The war between goodness and wickedness. The, the war between love and hatred. Love and hate. The, the, the war between Christ and the Antichrist. But the Antichrist is not permitted to function while the church is on earth. It's not permitted to be at work while we are here. There are those burying their head and pretending as if nothing is happening. Unfortunately, there are also Christians who maybe for the purpose of salary are defending killers. For the purpose of what to eat today. For the purpose of a relevance that will soon pass. It's, it's, not, it's, it's no longer news. Between Christmas and today, I don't know. I don't think. I don't think we, we have. I don't know. The, I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I don't have an enumeration. It was well published that on Christmas Day, some people were killed. I'm sure you are aware of that. On the very Christmas Day, was it 11 people decapitated in the northeast? I heard of a bride. A bridal train or a bride, a, a lady just about to get married or something with her bridal team all abducted and eliminated. In the northeast. Unfortunately, media is reporting nothing. Everything is underreported. What is happening in this country and happening in our land is grossly underreported. But every day for the thief and one day for the owner. Jehovah God Almighty the one we serve who sits on the throne is not going to sit like that forever Christian Association of Nigeria chairman of Michika in Adamawa state arrested, abducted killed decapitated this year Young man, young university, 200 level students of the University of Maiduguri. His offense was that he is going to school. Disappeared on the road. Next thing is the video circulating of his execution. Two other students, young men from 
mango in plateau state. Executed on video. And somebody is saying not I mean, yesterday I received all manner of phone calls from a place called Bocos Local Government in Plateau State. Please pray for us. The place is on fire. Please pray for us. Please pray for us. Please pray for us. Now as we are talking, many people here are ignorant. Many Christians are ignorant. Many, especially Christians in the South. There are people who are asleep until they come to their house and set them on fire. I want to tell everybody in the South, South, the Southwest, the Southeast, you are not safe. Don't think that you are down there. It's only in my degree and in Adamawa State and it's only in Kaduna or Benue State. You are not safe there. Don't let nobody deceive you. I know there are people who came here because you have one sickness in your body or the other. But healing and deliverance service can only happen if there is a country that is safe. Church service can only happen if there is a country that is safe. And if you are looking forward to the authorities, you are wasting your time. Are you following what I'm saying here today? But we have a God in heaven who will arise. We have a God in heaven who will arise because we are dealing with a devil that is a permanent loser. It is not in our time. It is not on our watch. It is not on our watch. It is not on our watch as watchmen over the territory of Nigeria and the territory. It is not on our watch that this nation will be Islamized. It is not on our watch that Christianity will be wiped out. Not on our watch. Not on our watch. Not on our watch. Not while Jesus is Lord and is on the throne. Not when there is enough power to deliver people just like we have heard this morning and deliver them not on our watch. There was one of our officers here. You, you know him. He was a colonel at the 231 tank battalion in Bew when he served. Before he went, that's Bruno State. Before he went, I anointed him with oil and he left. And, 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 and with a bottle of oil blessed for him. I don't want to mention his name now. And he was the commander there of that, brig, of that battalion. That is the heat of terrorism. He said he would use the oil and rub it as cream on his body. And go out for operations. One day they were ambushed. And bullets were fired. He passed through the camouflage. On one side. Came out on the other side. Are you still hearing what I'm saying here? He said he will anoint the quarter guard, anoint the, the gate, anoint the armory, anoint everything. And the terrorists will come and they won't see the barrack. They will see it's like a forest. Another time they come, they will see it's like a sea. Another time they will come, they won't see anything there. Then the final time when they came and saw something, not one of them returned back. Not one returned back alive. That same mantle is what I am speaking by now. That same authority that made not one. They, they confiscated their, their, their hillocks, their equipments, their tools. That same mantle is what I speak by today. In the name that is above every name. The days, the days of terrorism and the days of those who support them. Those days are over forever. I'd like you to stand up on our feet. I told somebody yesterday, I said, we don't have any right to continue church. If the devil can continue to walk and it's not checked, If the devil can continue to function and there is not enough power to handle that devil and check him back to hell, then there is no need for anything. Stand up on your feet, people. Well, if that is the only thing we prayed for today is enough. People are doing, going about business as usual and doing normal, regular things as if there is a baptism of cowardice and a baptism.
criticism of, 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 of an oppressive mantle just keep on moving. Things are happening, people are dying and people are watching. And people are watching. Enough is enough. 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 As we talk, there are communities in part of the north that people don't live there anymore for years. That is whole community sacked. They have had and they fought and fought and fought until the people had to run away. And their places are now empty. And the devil want this fertile land to become a barren land. That devil is a bastard liar. Those lands will be re-inhabited. If the nation of Israel return back to their nation, after 2,000 years, those lands will be re-inhabited. They will be re-inhabited by their occupants. That is the power of the God we serve. If the nation of Israel can reclaim their nation, they will be re-inhabited. That devil is a liar. Take your seat one minute. What do we do? In the face of this war that we are in, we are currently in a war. 50 years ago, Nigeria fought civil war. 50 years later, there is another war going on that people are pretending is not happening. But it's happening. Just that only one side has been fighting. In the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 to 18 let's look at it what do we do finally my brethren be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, he says, stand therefore, having your loins get about with truth, having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Verse 18, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all sins. What are we to do? Number one, be strong in the Lord. That's what he said in verse 10. What do we do as a people? What do we do as a church, as the body of Christ? Be strong in the Lord. Be bold, be audacious in the Lord. We must refuse the climate of cowardice be strong in the Lord be strong in the Lord refuse to be weak and refuse to be a weakling be strong in the Lord 1 Corinthians chapter 16 verse 13 said 1 Corinthians chapter 16 verse 13 said watch ye stand fast in the faith behave like men Quit you like men. Be strong. Watch, stand fast. They were, there was crisis in the, in, in, in the Syria axis when there was a lot of crisis there. I've forgotten the name of that term. I think it was Koban. That is the name of that village. Where the terrorists came to try to sack the land. 
And the people stood and held their ground. And they said, we are not going to run. We stay here, we fight it, we die here. I saw women with heavy weapons. Women. They chased the killers back to hell where they came from. He said, be strong. Be strong. Nobody has the monopoly of wickedness. Be strong. Be strong. Nobody has the monopoly. Has the monopoly. Has the monopoly of violence and aggression. Be strong. We shall not be cowards in our nation. And we shall not watch until we are finished like chicken. They form some local vigilante in some places and they say they should not. That devil is a bastard liar. You are not protecting people. And you say they shouldn't protect themselves. Bastard liars. You are not protecting people. And you say they shouldn't protect themselves. Where you have the equivalent in other parts of the country. Harassing people. And you say some part of the country should not protect themselves. That devil is a liar. It will never stand. It is time for people to wake up and say we are not cowards. We are not timid. We are not bastards. We equally own the country. We equally own the country. Something is about to happen. I like you to watch out. Whichever way it goes, something is about to happen. And this matter is about to end. Whichever direction it goes, something is about to happen. Whichever way it goes, something must happen. Whichever way it goes, something must happen. Take your seat. Say, quit you like men, be strong, rise up. Stop. The catapult of David brought down Goliath. The time has come where village dang guns will finish their GPMGs. The time has come. The time has come. Some young men um, from a, some an area in, in Benue State. They came, it was in our area one church. They brought bottles of oil. And they said these people, they come to their communities. And they come and then they give them surprise attack and return. You remember the area one altar? I prayed on those bottles of oil. And I said, go and anoint your land. Anoint yourselves. And the young men said, they are not living, they are not leaving the town. The other one testified here the other day that they were coming about Eight, seven or eight canoe load, boat load of warriors coming for their little town. And they stood their ground. And the people came. Not one of them escaped. He said they were firing non-stop. But what, whatever these people had against them, not one of them escaped. None escaped to tell the story. At another time, they went in, they went, they, went, they, they had rumor that those agents of darkness were coming. They stood their ground. Overnight or three days later, they went to a bush somewhere and found all of them dead on the ground. They didn't know who killed them. Mysterious, mysterious, mysterious disaster shall befall the forces of darkness. Mysterious disaster shall befall the forces of hell. Since they like death, you know they have been told if you kill people, you have reward there, and if they kill you in your in the in the course of the fight, you are going straight to hell, their own heaven. So they it, it, it doesn't care. Since they like death and they are ready to die, they will begin to die in mass. I speak by the prophetic mantle of God on my life, by the apostolic and the prophetic mantle, by the judgmental and vengeance mantle. Since they want to die, they shall die in mass. The priest 
principle of terrorism is spark terror make them timid do very brutal things that will make people fear that is why they spread the video so you can watch and shake and fear and be afraid and be moving with timidity but i speak against the blanket of fear in nigeria ay, 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 ay. I speak against the blanket of fear in Nigeria. I speak against the blanket of terror in Nigeria. We scatter you by fire. We dissolve you by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Somebody shout power. You know, as wicked as the devil was, reckless and terrible as he is the bible said he prevailed not i'm sure you read it just now place it on the screen again the dragon fought from verse 7 of revelation chapter 12 and there was war in heaven michael and his angels fought against the dragon and the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not this battle the agents of the devil will never prevail and there was no place found for them there was no place found anymore in heaven they shall not prevail what i can say today is say be strong don't be weak don't be a coward in your community in your village in your district don't be weak and don't be a coward whatever the devil wants let him be given don't be weak and don't be a coward your seat in the presence of the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. Number two, put on the whole armor of God. Put on the whole armor of God. That's what he said. So that you can be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. What is that whole armor of God? Go ahead and read from verse 12. Yes, verse 13 now. That you may be able to stand 14. Your loins get about with, with truth. Let's live with truth. Live with righteousness. These are not days of compromise. These are not days to be a half Christian and a, a, a half sinner. These are not days of hypocrisy. These are not days of living like, like the unbelieving world. And trusting the God of heaven to defend you. These are not days of playing church. These are days of being on fire for God. These are days of being on fire until the devil is chased to hell. These are not days of playing church. Place it for down the screen. Breastplate of righteousness. And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. These are days to preach like we have never preached before. These are days to take the shield of faith. And, and, and to be able to withstand, to quench the fiery darts of the enemy. These are days to wear the helmet of salvation. These are not the days to assume that you are saved. These are days to confirm that you are saved. To confirm that you are saved. And take the sword of the spirit. Which is the word of God? Is God speaking to anybody here at all? There were days in this country where if a Christian passed, you didn't need any advert. You know, this is a child of God passing. You could sense the spirit of God on him or her. You could sense their composure, their personality, the decency of their appearance. Today you cannot tell. I drove into church this morning. I saw some people. It was as if it's nightclub they are going. And it's church they were going. What are, who are you? Who do you want to deceive? Be real. Be real with God. You are in dangerous days. You can't afford to live carelessly. Be real. Be real. If your Christianity does not change your friends, your relationships, doesn't change your wardrobe, doesn't change anything it is not it is not the true christianity it changes something it changes something be strong in the lord put on the whole armor of god and finally verse 18 said praying always pray always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit 
praying always. You wake up in the night, pray. In the morning, pray. Praying always. Let prayer, let prayer, let shame prayer happen across churches. Let shame prayer happen in, in, in homes. Father, this evil must die in our land. This evil must die in our days. This evil must expire in our land. This evil must die. And the evil shall die. Somebody say louder, amen. But I want to announce to you now praying pray always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit it's a full statement because praying in the spirit is what they are talking about this evil must stop filling our land with blood this the, those video clips young able bodied men wasted in an instant less than a few minutes blood on the ground it is over is somebody here saying it is over is there somebody saying enough is enough for the devil stand up on your feet say it is over remain standing stand up on your feet lift up your hands and let's appreciate God for his faithfulness for his mercies let's appreciate God let's honor him it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not they are new every morning great is your faithfulness it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not they are new every morning great is his faithfulness it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassion fail not they are new every morning Shut up. your hands and appreciate the king of kings appreciate the lord of laws appreciate the ancient of days the i am that i am king of kings Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let the fret a cigar lay adasta. Let perete ke zina managaya la lahasta. Let the ferita kuza ganayadish. Let perete suni mina gala ratosa. Gala ratosa nebe la garadis. Le baragadis ke le feretinaza. Jeropadis kila maradis. Kila maradis ke te firanosa. Kila bagarasa. Le peretina sana managasta. Le perete seke lini migala. Lini migala. Mi te frete sidi, mi te frete sidi, li ke prete sudi galaya la la hasta la labra. In Jesus' name, the spirit of the bond woman is the spirit of the Antichrist. Any spirit that denies that Jesus is the Son of God is the spirit of the Antichrist. The great challenge is who is Jesus? Is he the Son of God? God doesn't have a son. It's called the spirit of the Antichrist. First John chapter 2 verse 22. Who is a liar? Somebody say Satan the devil. Who is a liar? But he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ. He is Antichrist that denied the Father and the Son is the demon of the Antichrist. And the spirit of the Antichrist must bow today. The bond woman. Listen. The Bible said 
the seed of the bondwoman. Nevertheless, what said the scripture? Cast out the bondwoman and her son, for the son of the bondwoman shall not be heir with the son of the free woman. So then, brethren, we are not the children of the bondwoman, but of the free. As it was then, so it is now. There was contention, but one bowed. Lift your voice and say after me, pray, please. If you ever love this nation and love your own life, that boy from Plateau State was only returning back to school. 200 level biology education. And he disappeared. The next thing is video of him circulating, being shot to death. Some people say, people should withdraw their children from schooling in that place. Question is, there are Christians there. That place is their place. They, 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 that is their... There are states in that place that are 60% Christian. Talking about Adamawa State, Taraba State, maybe up to 80%. All the things they are showing on it, they are lies of the devil. There is nothing like a, a, like, like a religious dominated north. Like Christians are minorities. Today. It's a lie. I am from Benue State. 99, maybe 90% to 95%. The whole of Southern Bronubio. Now the other day we had people from, anybody from Chibok here? You know where they cap kidnapped the Chibok girls? I mean, if you remember the Chibok, that she's from Chibok. That is far north of Brunu. You are from Chibok. That's right. Anybody from Bill here? Come. Let me say Brunu people come. So you can understand what we're talking about. Stand over here. Face here. You are from where? Chibok. You remember where they kidnapped the Chibok girls? You are from where? Ow. How? How? Inside, you are from inside my degree. Askiraoba, which local government? Askiraoba. Askiraoba, local government of Bronu State. What of you? No, I'm talking of Bruno first. Ask crowd by Lassa. Yes, sir. That's right. You are from where? Bruno. Eh? From Bruno. Which where in Bruno? Goza. Goza. Yes. Anybody know Goza? Where the military police, I mean the mobile police do their training? Bill. This is where the tank battalion is. 231 tank battalion in Bill. Ask crowd by. How local government? How the local government? Askraba. All of them you have you have plenty from Askraba. From Bill. 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 I'm from Howry. Howry. Alright. These are all Bronu State. This if you say you shouldn't send your children to school in in uni, Unimate because or any of them because they are they, 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 on, on the road going, they may be trapped. Okay, why what, what will these people do? What will they do? Where will they go? Howry. Chibok. Chibok, yes. That was where they kidnapped it. Almost 300. How many children? Her village. From Lhasa. Lhasa. Bill. Mich Michika. That's Adamawa State. Okay. From my degree, right in Sabah. My degree itself. Howry. Howry. Askirao Balasa. Goza local government. Goza. Bill. Bill. Askirao Balasa. Askirao Balasa. How local government? Ask her about Lassa. Ask her All right. If you are from Adamawa State, you can join us now. Who is from Michika? Where that can chairman is from? You are from Michika. All right. Oh, oh, be, be on the line. Where will these people go? These people. Where would they go? Who is from Numan? Numan. Numan. Everybody be on your feet, oh, everybody. This is well, a well, serious matter. All right. All 
these people are from the northeast. So it means we should leave that place and leave them, them. Eh? Taraba State, you can join. Or oh, Taraba has already joined. Anybody from Taraba here already standing? Like I said, you come with your things. Taraba and Adamawa State were once Gongola State. All right. Let me put it blanket. Everybody from the northeast, you can come forward here. That is all the way from Gombe. The northeast where the, the challenge is. You can come with your things. The one of those from Kanu State. Can you wave your hand if you are from Kaduna State? Wave your hands, Kaduna State. I know you are very plenty in case um, the play, the front. Okay, come forward. Carry your things and come forward. This is the people we call not. Everybody from everywhere, Zanfara State, everywhere, come forward. Not that you live there, you are from there. That's your state. Kebi State, Kasina State, Yobe, Jigawa State, Gombe State, Bauchi State. This is Northeast, Northwest. She is from Zamfara State. That is the first state in the country that instituted Sharia. She is from that state. She is, she is from Jigawa State. The, the state that was the, divided and taken from Kanu State. She's from the word of Yuma. Eh? Kaduna State. Is, is, somebody, is somebody's eyes open at all? Kaduna State. Kebi State. Yes, Kebi is already out. Katsina. If you are from a state I haven't mentioned, you can lift your hand and let us know which state. You are from a state. Yes, which one? Niger State. Okay. Alright, everybody stand up on your feet now. Look at from Yobe. From Yobe State. Yobe State is the second worst state in terms of this terrorism. The second worst state. The road between Yobe and Maidogri is almost impassable. This man is from that place. Stretch your hands. Stretch, stretch your hands towards these people. We, we, and we are going to use them as a point of contact for Christians in the north. In the northwest, in the northeast, they will not leave their ancestral land, the land of their fathers. It will not be reoccupied by anybody. And the land of their fathers, they shall worship the religion, they shall worship the God of their fathers, they shall worship the God Almighty that is in their heart to worship. Nobody can force them to change their religion. And nobody can force them to leave their fatherland. Nobody can force them to change their religion. Nobody can force them to leave their fatherland. Open your mouth and pray for the Christians in the northwest, the northeast, the north central. Open your mouth, pray. Satan, the blood of Jesus is against you in the north. Now there is a fallacy that says Muslim north, Christian south. Nothing like that. There are both Christians and Muslims in the north and in the south. There are Christians in sufficient proportion. Are you following what I'm saying here today? Stretch your hands towards these people here and say, Father, we decree, we demand the preservation of, the, of, of your world and of your people in the north of Nigeria. We decree the preservation of your people in the north of Nigeria. Satan in the northeast and in the northwest. The blood of Jesus is against you. The blood of Jesus is against you. Now, open your mouth and pray. The blood of Jesus is against you. The blood of Jesus is against you. The blood of Jesus.